Well, let's move on to an episode where we learn so much about Q. The <laughs> well, episode Cupid. He has a debt to repay, Cam. <laughs> yeah. A debt to repay. <laughs> yes. Uh, essentially, yeah, he, uh, Vash is on the ship, and he wants to hook up Vash and Picard, and Picard's not having any of it, so... Uh, this yeah. is a bizarre episode. It's so weird. It is weird. It's memorable. Like this yeah. is one that every fan knows what you're talking about here. It's iconic, but I, I think when you look at it from a storytelling point of view, this episode's all over the place. It's a relationship episode about Picard for at least a huge chunk of it, and then it just turns into yeah, Robin Hood, <laughs> and yeah. it's like, oh, how did we get here? I, I'm not really sure what my takeaway was supposed to even be from this episode. Um, eh, it's it's not a cute episode. No, it's he's like you said, like he kind of the Deus Ex Machina that gets to things. help solve the problem. Yeah. But to me, like it starts off with a, f I mean, I don't want to say a mature adult problem because it's not. It's kind of goofy <laughs> that Vash is like angry that Picard hasn't told his crew about her, <laughs> <laughs> you know, which is a little yeah. I, it doesn't make me think much of the character. But Q is essentially brought in to solve this crisis in their relationship. But the takeaway to me felt so cartoony that I was like, I don't really understand the point of bringing this character in for this purpose. It's almost like they mashed two scripts together. Yeah, but I, I believe Iris Stephen Bear, uh, he had quit in season three, and mm -hmm. he only came back to do this episode because he was such a big Earl Flynn fan right. that uh, he wanted to do <laughs> this Robin Hood episode. I don't, I don't get it. It was just, it, it's like halfway through the episode, it's randomly Sherwood Forest. Yeah. There, so there you go. Yeah. I, I, I'm wondering, at the time, if somebody had missed a preview that week, and they weren't expecting any of this to happen, like what was going <laughs> through their mind, right? I, I would have been fascinated by that. Reaction. No kidding, because the first half of the episode does not clue you in at all where, as to where it's going. Uh, but beyond that, okay, like I, I want to focus more on uh, Q in this episode. He doesn't right. really have much to do. We do see this ongoing arc in where... He's referring to what happened in the previous episode, and he's like, well, Picard, I'm in your debt, so uh, I, I want to get you some loving. Do you buy Q's motives as you know, genuine in this one, Patrick? Yes, I guess. I, it... <laughs> well, I know. It, it's like, I guess, like, why would he do this otherwise? But then why would Q even care? We've come a long way from Picard has to earn his role as the savior of humanity or defender of humanity. Right. Yeah. And I don't... <laughs> it, 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 yeah, and it's... I mean, I suppose on a certain level it plays to that... Uh, uh... <laughs> What's what's West Data's line? Well, he has always had an interest in you, as almost like a almost like a parent to a child. Yes, yes. <laughs> but I, I don't know. To be honest, this is one of those episodes where I'm like, skip. Right. I just I I don't like the character of Vash. I'm not interested in Picard's sex life. Um, Speak I, for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've watched this one twice in the past year. Uh, just. Yeah, I, it's interesting, but mostly for research purposes on the show. Yeah. But... I, I, okay, so I, guys, I really didn't know even what to make about this episode. I, I, I know it's an iconic episode. I don't think it's a very strong Q episode. It doesn't really tell us much about his character. No, it's kind of like more like, we've got this episode idea. I know, let's bring Q in. That'll be fun. How do there, we get them together? Q will make it happen. Sure, yeah. yeah. And I'm sure fans were excited to see Q and Robin Hood, and I think that's what they took away from it. So in terms of pleasing fans, I'm sure it worked. But in terms of helping broaden our interest in the character of Q, I don't really think I it mean, did you do, you do get Worf saying, I am not a merry man. Yeah, it's no. got great comedy coming out of it. Yeah, yeah. But 